it's Julia. Welcome back to a week in my life summer time vlog. I have not done one in a week or so, so we need to catch up a lot. Several things have happened. Also, like nothing's happened. Probably the most notable things are one, the 4th of July happened like literally a million years ago, but we have footage. Let's roll the tapes. Happy 4th of July! Ooh. <laughs> Sponsored by Sonic. Mm. <laughs> and not bomb pops. We couldn't find any bomb pops in the free the what is that? Oh, about? What's it called? Grocery store. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We um spent the whole morning um cleaning and shopping. Uh cleaning and, and shopping. <laughs> shopping. We both feel good about it. And yeah. <laughs> we're going to the beach, aka the lake, the lake, the lake beach. Betty and I are at Olympic Park and I don't know why but I feel like we just went back in time it like feels like the sandlot like the 80s kind of vibe I'm really into it it's fine maybe it's my ass about shorts maybe it's the bridge over there I think it's the bridge something about it all right we're leaving now we weren't actually going to come to this park we we're gonna to go to a further one but we saw people swimming at this one on the way over this one's super close to our house and it was so fun, like literally, we were sitting right there, my car's right here, this is a great spot. Also this one's free, the one we are gonna go to was like five bucks. Save five bucks. That's literally all I got. I've come to the conclusion, we all know it, the writing's on the wall. I cannot vlog and host a party at the same time. Can't do it. Can't do it. I don't know, I, I'm, I don't, shouldn't even try. Also, I got to speak two times recently. I spoke at Gap Year Storytelling Training. Gap Year Training Camp is happening right now. It's been going on for the past 10 days. I think today's the last day or tomorrow's the last day. Probably tomorrow. And I spoke at their storytelling training. I don't think I have any footage of it, but I also spoke at the July semester's training camp. I think I have footage of that. So, getting some speaking on. I spoke about the same things about vlogging and about sharing your testimony. Also, the most notable thing going on in my life right now that you need to know about is I have injured myself. Don't worry, I'm okay. I'm okay for the most part. So in the musical that I'm in, I have to do a burlesque scene and I have to do a can-can kick routine and a split. I can do a split, I've been working on it, and but not only do I have to do it, I have to slide into it with my hands in the air. I can't put my hands on the ground. And I did this, I've done it, I can do it. It's just a matter of, I'm old, I'm 28, and not in my prime, you know? And I went a couple, I think it was two weeks ago, I was, yeah, two Wednesdays ago, I was showing my roommate Betty, look, I can do it. I was stretching, I had been working on it. I, and yes, I was warmed up. Everyone keeps asking me if I was warmed up. I went for a run, so it was nice and warm. And then I was stretching and working on it for like 20 minutes. And then at the end of this 20 minutes, I showed the split to Betty and I felt like a pool near my upper thigh, near like my groin. And I was like, oh no, oh gosh, okay. Betty, I was like laying on the ground, Betty Google what to do if you pull your hamstring and I was so upset and so all weekend, all 4th of July weekend, I like didn't move, I didn't really go anywhere, I was just not walking and then Monday came around and I was on my way to work and I was getting ready for rehearsal and it kind of all hit me at once. I can't dance today. So I'm going to have to tell my directors that I can't dance and they're gonna ask if I went to the doctor so I need to go to the doctor when am I gonna go to the doctor I hate going to the doctor because like when do you go to the doctor so I decided okay I'll go right now and I just went straight to the doctor right before work uh, started and the doctor told me that I would probably take me weeks to get better the hamstring injuries are kind of tragic and I might I definitely couldn't dance all week and maybe for weeks and I cried I just went to the urgent care and talked to the doctor just because I wanted to make sure I was doing everything right because I had referenced the internet and I felt like I was doing everything right with icing it and not using it a lot 
but like I felt very unsure and I wanted to make sure I was doing everything right so I could be good for the show and she told me pretty much that I was doing everything right but it, I probably couldn't rehearse all week and like it could take weeks to get better and the show's literally in like three weeks and I, just, I just feel really upset because like the show makes me so happy and I love rehearsals and then I like can't, can't really do anything and like the injury is like so stupid like I literally hurt myself just like practicing for the show <laughs> Shoot. I, feel, <laughs> I feel so old <laughs> like this is old age <laughs> Dang it. they did give me a shot which they said would help a lot so I'm hoping that it expedites things and they gave me a bandage that's like compressing it so that's helping a lot um, with the pain I feel like it'll also help show other people that my leg is hurt so I don't seem like dramatic and crazy. <laughs> so <sighs> gross. I have to go to work now. I felt like I've been working so hard. This musical makes me so happy. It gives me so much life and I thought I can't, might not get to be in the show, which is tragic, but also just not getting to rehearse at all makes me sad because it make it's so much fun for me. And it was it was really upsetting. However, it has been two weeks since I hurt myself and I'm almost better. I've been able to rehearse for the most part. I can pretty much do everything except leg extensions um, beyond like 90 degrees. So I can't do, I pretty much can't do high kicks and I can't do the split. I can turn, I can put my leg into passe, I can do 90 degree angle. I can stretch, I can do lifts and jumps, I can run, I can skip, I can do everything except high kicks and splits, so I'm working on it. Um, I found as of yesterday that if I actually start working out my leg, like doing exercises and muscle strengthening, that helps significantly with the pain, uh, I think just strengthening the hamstring. Again, science, makes sense. So that's helping, right? My, my routine right now is before I exercise, I use a heating pad, I heat up the muscle, I warm up significantly, and then after rehearsal, I ice it. And I think we're doing well. I think we're gonna be okay. I might excuse myself from the burlesque scene entirely and just never do a split again for the rest of my life, but I don't know. <laughs> Jury's out on that still. It's later now. I'm trying to get to rehearsal like 30 minutes early today, which is a little bit difficult because it's like 45 minutes from my house. We're doing a flash mob at uh, this place called Your Pie. It's a pizza place and they're sponsoring the show. And I'm a little nervous about it because I don't think anyone knows what they're doing or how to do a flash mob. We didn't practice, but needless to say, it could be great. It could be awful. But I'm just trying to pack up some like treats and snacks because we're getting really close to the show. It's in like two weeks and rehearsals now are like literally four hours long. We're gonna over till 10 o'clock. So I need treats and snacks. Kombucha, maybe some tuna. That's really gross, I know. I used to secretly kind of hate people that ate tuna, but like tuna's good for you and it's cheap and it's easy and like, it's all right. This is my newest kombucha flavor. It's blueberry ginger lemon. My friend Paul Bernello told me how to make this flavor. It's the best one I've ever made, for sure. But I'm out of that one, so I'm gonna mix it with the strawberry. Hopefully that tastes good. Okay. Here we go, we got socks, we got deodorant, shoes. Let's go! <laughs>
enjoyed the flash mob footage. It actually went really well. Everyone at Your Pie loved it. I don't know if you noticed, but all of the people that worked there were filming it behind the kitchen stand. I thought that was so funny. They're sponsoring the show, so that's why we did it there. I thought it was really fun. Um, I know this vlog was super weird, but hopefully you enjoyed it. My next vlog will be totally normal. It's going to be Tech Week, um, which starts tomorrow for me in real time. Um, for the show, the show for me is opening in a week, so I want to film a lot more. Also, everyone recently found out about my YouTube channel, so I think I'm going to be a little more open about filming. Hopefully, you know, sometimes that can be awkward. A lot of people are pretty excited about it, so hopefully I'll vlog more at practice this week. All right, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you have not. Leave me a video request or a comment or both down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!